Okay, gang. I recently had my very first body composition analysis done at age 63. Now, this is out of sheer morbid curiosity more than anything, but let's see how this bad boy turned out. All right, like I said, today I went in and got me a uh, body composition analysis done and did it on a gym, a little uh, gym rig and body is the name of it. Um, get a little printout and um, I'm gonna go over that. I can't say this is gonna, this is the most uh, scientific and accurate way to do this, but I use that. That's our baseline starting point. Give me some idea where I am, just to have fun really. And pr probably later on, um, I'm gonna do some other more uh, exacting type meth methods like uh, hydrostatic testing or uh, DEXA, DEXA scan. But for now, let's go over what I found today. Let's go do it. All right, gang, as I said, I did a uh, body composition analysis. As, as I speak, it was this morning. This is an in-body body composition analysis on this little machine right here. It was in my gym. A little, had to do it with a trainer. It took about a minute. Um, do it barefoot and uh, barehanded. Um, I don't know if this is the most accurate type way to do this, but uh, we're going to roll with this for now. Later on, I'm going to do a hydrostatic body composition analysis and a DEXA scan if I can find one around here. But I wanted to start with this today. And this is what we have. I'm not going to go through everything. I just want to hit the details, particularly the ones I cared about. Um, five foot eight, 63 years old male. And uh, as I said, I did it today, September 12th, 2023 at 9.35 a.m. And uh, these are just some numbers. Um, looks like total water for me right now, 112.7 pounds. Lean body mass, 153.9. I assume that's muscle and bone. If I'm wrong, you let me know. Total weight, 179.5. Um, body fat mass. Now this is the, my, my body fat on my body in, in pounds, 25.6. That sounds like a big lump if you were to just be looking at it. Um, okay, so uh, here's just some other muscle fat analysis. I'm not really sure. So this is just body weight, skeletal muscle mass, 88.2, body fat mass, 25.6. Um, we knew that. Now, this right here I have a problem with. Uh, BMI, 27. Point three. That's as I remember. Twenty-seven point three is like borderline obese or right at, at obese. So I guess we have to take that with a grain of salt. Now this is the bad boy I really went in here for. Right there, PBF percent body fat, fourteen point three. Now I'm going to be I would be dis, dishonest if I didn't think, tell you that was a little disappointing. I expected like twelve and a half or twelve. Um, 13 I would have been happy with, but that's all right. Gives me something to, uh, well, gives me a starting point. And I'm not going to go crazy. I'm not going to go down to 10 anyway. My goal is 12, and that's about it. So I guess we're pretty close. And I'm sure about eight weeks ago, this was considerably higher, so that's okay. Oh, let's see. I don't know. Segment, segmental lean analysis, right arm, left arm. Uh, that's pretty good. I don't know what these numbers mean. Maybe 9.26 is uh, the weight of lean mass in my arms, 9.26 pounds. Left arm, 9.28. Trunk, 67.9 pounds of lean muscle mass. I believe that's what that means. And this is, uh, this is something that uh, proves a point too. Right leg, 22.38 pounds of lean muscle. Left leg, 21.98. And I've been saying for a while, my left leg lags my right, and that proves it, at least in the muscle mass area. Uh, EC, WBT, T, w, TBW, it said something to do with water weight. X, what is this? Ratio of extracellular water to total body weight. Important indicator of body water balance. Probably something to do with hydration and how well you're hydrated. Again, weight, 179.5, 14.3% body fat. Um... 
visceral fat level is a four. Uh, my trainer said level four visceral fat is good. I think visceral fat is the stuff inside, like around your organs. So uh, I think that's it. Um, so that's good. And this is the uh, where most of the. I think this is just telling me that uh, where my fat lies. Right arm 0.9 pounds, left arm 0.9 pounds, trunk 13.9 pounds, legs 3.7, 3.5. So I've got most of my fat in my trunk, which I know. I know that, so that's okay. All right. All righty. There you have today's adventure. Uh, I've been wanting to do that for a while, so uh, today I pulled the trigger. My first ever, uh, what's this thing called, body composition analysis. And as I said, I'm not real, real sure that's the most accurate means to do this. So, um, as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out a uh, hydrostatic test. They do that here at the local university, Old Dominion University, and I think they may even do a DEXA scan there too. Uh, that might be a little more expensive, but. Uh, I want to do at least a hydrostatic and the DEXA just to see what, where we are. And before that, I'd like to lose a few more pounds of uh, actual body fat. Um, but, you know, all in all, I'm pretty stoked with that. I know where I am. I know what I feel like. I don't need that number to know where I am. I know there's just, a, you know, just some jiggly stuff going on, and I'm going to gonna take care of it. But I'm not going to go crazy. I think 12 will be the lowest I go. Um, but you know me. If I get to 12, I might want 11. But I think 12 is reasonable. At any rate, it was kind of fun. If, you, if uh, any of you guys have ever done anything like this and uh, found it to be accurate or not accurate or curious in general or, um, or if you know an, a, what the exact, the best way to get a pretty exact measurement of body fat and body composition is, whether it be hydrostatic, DEXA, these little electrical machines, basically, that's the same kind of thing you, you get on your bathroom scales. I guess this one's just a little more highfalutin. But uh, let me know your experiences with these body composition analysis tools. Uh, it's fun. It's always, you know, it's just another carrot on the stick. It doesn't mean a whole lot in the big scheme of things. The mirror, the mirror and uh, how your clothes fit and how you feel is the biggest indicator of everything. But, um, thank you. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. This has been a fun one. Hope you had a great day, great week. I hope you're going to have a great day today and a great week. Wishing you all the best. Um, hit that like button for me if you would. That is really, really cool if you do that. Write a comment. Doesn't have to be long. Just say hello. Hey, cool. That kind of thing. One worders. Write a comment. Take time to do that. Hit that notification bell. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to our cool little group here. Alrighty. So with that, I'll say, till next time, go get them. Mark out.